You know and I know everything happens in South Florida. It was on this vacant lot for many years a world-renowned investigator had an office. But true to his word, he made it disappear. That's because he's the amazing Randy. And like magic, we are here with the amazing Randy, who's certainly a name in South Florida, if not the rest of the world. You're the quintessential boy who ran away to join the circus. Well, I guess I am, though I don't know if there is a quintessential one. I think we all have very much different stories, and my story is as different as anyone else's. Born and raised in Toronto, dropped out of school, joined the carnival to do magic tricks? Well, born, not completely raised there. I, I, I don't think I've been raised yet. I'm only 86. I got time. Randall James Hamilton Zwingy, better known as James Randy, or the amazing Randy, has lived a magical life. The South Florida resident is the magician's magician, although he prefers the term conjurer, and nowadays, investigator. He has spent decades exposing those who claim to have supernatural powers while practicing the same trickery he's perfected. And he's had a long-standing offer that has grown from $10,000 to $1 million for anyone who can prove they truly have psychic abilities. I want to be remembered as somebody who saw that the conjurers are often misunderstood and <clears> that they should not be I looked upon as somebody who really has some sort of magical powers or supernatural powers. And I think that that should be made very plain. Uh, many of the magicians work, conjurers, work as mentalists, which seems to be an effect that takes place with the mind only, and uh, of which I might even give you a demonstration if I feel inclined. I'm, I'm feeling inclined, incidentally. There are some 4,000 books in the Amazing Randy study, and I chose two of them at random for this demonstration. All right. Uh, now, uh, which one would you like to use? This one there, okay. Got to find the page number. Okay. I'm just going to flip through this book, and you tell me to stop any time at all. Wait. Oh, sorry, I dropped it. Oops. Stop. Hi. Uh, 71, turn to, oops, oh, okay. turn to 71. page 71 in that book, all right? Well, hold it up like this so I can't see it. All right. My goodness. All right. I'm there. Uh, just choose a word out of there that is not a word like he, she, or but, or something like that, okay? You got a good, sizable word there, something, okay. Uh, close the book. <laughs> that, that doesn't look like much of a word to me. And Paffio didn't or something like Wait, I know. Yeah. Uh, out of that entire library and out of that particular book and out of any place in that book, you chose a word. What was the word? Yes. Uh, purported? Oh, <laughs> this I've done every now and then. This is weird. I got it upside down. Purported. That's a ridiculous word. I don't know what it means. If James, the amazing Randy with another purported chapter of South Florida's dubious history. I'm Wayne Rooston for the Sun Sentinel.